self-care, self-image, self-growth, beauty, business, and books. Check out the free stuff in the description. I'm Gia G. Dixon. Subscribe. New videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Here are little steps I am taking to be a little bit greener this year. Uh, if you want to join along, give us a like, give us a comment, tell me all the things that you're trying to do, and I definitely could use the ideas too if I don't mention them. These are just very small things. My brain is really scrambled because uh, I'm sick. First off, I think it's very important to just get started. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be like a total hippie. Just because someone says, you're not that green, you don't do this and this, and it's like, so what? At least I'm getting it started. What's your issue? Why are you criticizing me? First thing and foremost, you're doing this for you, for the planet also. This is what you can do, what you know you can do. Nobody can tell you about your situation because they don't know about you personally. You're doing your best, so just getting started very small is good enough. Don't let someone else tear you down because of your efforts. Look at your efforts and be like i'm doing something i'm getting started it's not perfect i will master it later or i'll fix it as i go the whole point is it just has to get started so i'm not someone who's out here who's trying to preach that, oh the world is gonna fall apart but i just think it's really important to do our part i don't care how excessive you are with your life but i'm just a person who doesn't think that you need to sleep in like a, a secondhand used t-shirt every single day because uh, you're never supposed to shop. It's like, no, I wear cashmere. I like nice things. Like, first things first, let's get this out in the clear. I vowed not to go shopping this year and purchase anything new. And I don't plan, I really don't like used things. I used to buy secondhand all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time as a, as a teenager, because that's all I could afford. And I loved style. So like, as long as it was stylish, that's what mattered. I didn't care about designers and expensive things. It doesn't have to be expensive for it to be nice, but I do like quality. I also don't like secondhand now because I don't like some, something that someone sweat in i think that's not very hygienic and like i especially used shoes it's like why would you buy used feet sweat shoes <laughs> that's gnarly i don't want to purchase anything new like i am really giving up shopping if i do have new clothes it's because someone gifted them to me unless i really need to replace something so say for instance all of my plan all of my pants all of a sudden one day got burnt down in a house fire then i'm gonna buy some new pants obviously but i'm not gonna buy like 12 new pants i'm just gonna buy like a couple and then if i need more i'll buy them as i go but that's just like really last resort most likely not gonna happen my purses right now and i only use like one percent of my purses and my shoes which is not good so they're more of a collection that you look at through the glass and they're beautiful and i'm gonna hand them down to my daughters uh, for instance grocery shopping i'm gonna shop for but i'm not gonna like shop for a ton of package stuff just in general i don't like package stuff and i don't like waste when i get like fruit i don't put them in a bag because i think that's really important to not just have a ton of plastic everywhere i don't support that definitely not number two washing my clothes less and more hand washing so i have really delicate clothes like cashmere you have to hand wash it um i have trousers that are like jeans that you could just throw in the dryer which is not good like i don't sweat that much especially my my regular day-to-day -day clothes when it's summer is another story because i wear dresses and just have to worry about the armpit areas the most otherwise my clothes don't really smell uh, my sweat doesn't really smell unless I've been in the clothes for four days. How do I know? Because I have stayed in my pajamas for four days. But washing my clothes um, on very light setting and then hanging them out on the drying rack. My husband is really good at doing the, the drying rack stuff. I'm good at folding and hanging. Hand washing, I'm gonna, I want to get more used to that. That's a really great idea because I think it's important to have that like cathartic therapeutic session with yourself and just be mindful in the moment and appreciating your clothes and seeing how hard it is to wash clothes. Get some muscles while I'm at it. Number three, use less paper towel. So I have a ton of rags here that are just used and old and I'll, I'll just use those instead and so I can always hand wash them. Number four, I think it's four, recycle everything. So I already recycle as I go as of now um i'm really crazy about recycling i don't know if you know this about me I've li i lived in denmark for a couple of years it is literally the greenest country in the world as opposed to their pork pollution like the pork industry is insane i know you can pick apart anything if you see the trash is there like the trash bins there are literally just like this little thing little hand basket smaller than like a shopping basket note that they're just like this little thing and that's the trash in denmark they're like so educated when it comes to being green they create their own combos i create my own combos don't tell anybody that my friends who live here have a farm and total hippies i live in california and we have constant droughts here he turned on the sink and just started talking and i had like a mini heart attack it was just such a cringe moment i turned off the sink right away i've seen a few i've seen a handful of people do this and I realize, oh, saving water is important. And when I do shower, this is a da another Danish thing I learned. When I shower and I'm lathering, like washing my whole body, I turn off the water. I turn on the shower and then I was like, 
testing it out to be to make sure it was hot but the thing is over there it's like so advanced that you don't have to really test it out it, it gets hot right away so you don't have to like sit there so that's really uh efficient so recycle everything and then number five not shopping for packaged foods or packaged beauty products or packaged anything i have so much makeup as it is so i don't need to do to do any new makeup shopping i know how to handle expired makeup too i looked up how to like recycle them properly i have tattooed makeup actually my eyebrows are tattooed and my eyeliner just the top eyeliner is tattooed and if i do need something it's mascara and i think that's like the thing that i replace the fastest and the most aside from tinted lip balm which is not necessarily considered makeup but um that's the one thing that i probably shop for the most duty like shower products bar soap lip balm body lotion if i didn't mention something please list it down in the comments below share this with someone who would like to do this with you and try any of these things let me know what you think when you try these things if there's anything to add i would love to try some new things it doesn't have to be perfect you just have to start I'd give this a like so that uh, more people can see this and it gets sent throughout youtube's algorithm i have new videos coming out every single sunday wednesday and saturday subscribe but i'll see you in a few days